What it is is that um, this is the first time in Nigeria's history that an administration has recognized the importance of the creative sector by actually making it a ministry. It's never happened. They've always had culture. They've never had creative. And what you find out is that in terms of policies that have been set up deliberately to stimulate and develop that sector, we haven't really had a lot of uh, government involvement around that. Um, so the current minister um, is extremely passionate about what the ministry can do. So from different perspectives, but for everything that she's focusing on, number one priority is around how the creative sector can generate employment because we have a very high unemployment rate. Uh, number two, is that the Honourable Minister is very interested in understanding from an evidence-based perspective the things that should be done in a consistent and a sustainable way to ensure that the depth of the creative space you know, keeps getting deeper. Um, and saying that, they are interested in knowing what is happening in the creative space. When we say creative, what does that mean? They're interested in making sure that there are policies that will help to not only um, encourage more creatives to come into the space, but also for those that are there to ensure that they are able to constantly be able to um, be sustainable in what it is that they're doing. So, so those are the things that the, the ministry is looking at. I can't really share everything because it was a private meeting, but I can say that um, as an institution, that has been training creatives for the last 21 decades. We're excited that we have a minister who is extremely passionate about wanting to see um, a strong, vibrant creative sector. Um, and we are always open to talking with not just um, the public sector, but private sector to see how we can collaborate together. So I'm, I'm very happy that you're saying this and you're talking about lobbying because lobbying is not something we are known to do as Nigerians. But uh, lobbying is important. Lobbying must take place. Um, and if people don't understand what lobbying can do, I'm going to share an example of the furniture manufacturing space. Now, years ago, when the government um, started banning so many things, decades ago, the furniture manufacturers came together and went to meet the government. So that was about the time that they banned furniture. Okay? And with the lobbying that took place, a lot of them were able to set up manufacturing companies in Nigeria. And if the quality of the products that they were making is, so was and still is, is phenomenal. A couple of years ago, that ban was about to be taken off. And if that had happened, you can imagine the investment that they made in setting up those manufacturing uh, plants would have gone down the drain. But collectively, they came together and ensured that any policy that was coming that would affect those investments would not happen. So that's manufacturing. You can imagine if as a group we come together as creatives and we're able to agree on the things that are important to move the needle, move the dial for us creatives, we come together and we get and meet the government, we'll be a force to break on it. Yeah. So the conversation we just had now about how, you know, uh, artists are paid offshore in their domiciliary account, how the government cannot actually say for sure what is being earned. All those things are things that would not even, those are not conversations that will come up. Once we have lobbyists and that they are together, they're united. So it's not only just one item, which is funding, people always talk about funding, but there's so many other things. Once you have a weak regulatory structure, once you don't have strong intellectual property laws, what are we talking about? So lobbying is very important, and it's something that um, the creators have to come together. Um, the challenge is that as a country, we have been operating in silos. Different people are doing different things, but for us to move the dial, we have to come together. I think the first thing is that um, as a nation, we have all sorts of associations. We have a lot of associations. And people might be saying, oh, there are too many and all that. But there's, there's um, 
there's power in coming together collectively to achieve objectives. I would say to creatives out there who are looking for platforms, who are looking to set up platforms and come together uh, to be united in terms of the objectives and goals that they're looking for. So do not be mesmerized by personalities and individuals, okay? Look at the objectives, look at people's track records before you start to come together and make sure you even know what it is that you want. Now, that is one. But before that, I would appeal to all creatives to understand that their talent is never enough. Their talent will start, right? But to sustain that talent from the talent to um, a brand, to, to a sustainable business, it takes much more than talent. It takes deepening their competencies. It takes them understanding that there is the business side of music. There's the business side of fashion. There's the business side of film. There's the business side of photography. There's the business side of everything. So if you only know the technical, you're shooting yourself in the foot. And for you to also realize that you cannot play in across all segments, all, all the um, value chain. You can't. You take what it is that you can do and you focus on that. Because we see people not realizing that there is a value chain. If you don't know, you have to go and study that and find out where you are strongest and play there. That would be my yeah, advice. Very, and then lastly, yeah. they can come to Enterprise Women Center. Yeah. Um, currently, we have programs that we're doing for, for young women. I'm sorry for all the guys. <laughs> and it's free. So we have free training, oh. free advisory, free consulting, oh, 15 to 35. So just, uh, just Google Enterprise Women Center. Okay. And uh, yeah, right. I will Thank help them. Thank you very much.